Sean Mackley is back with us, which Hi. is lovely. It's lovely to see you, but the weather forecast is not so lovely. There, is isn't, it? there isn't much of a bright side. <laughs> ah, <laughs> see, see what you did there. Did. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm afraid what a change. Last week, lots of warm spring sunshine all change as we go through the next couple of days. For today, there was a good deal of cloud cover around. Temperatures actually around average for the time of year, around 10 or 11 degrees, but we've been getting used to 18 or 19, so it's felt a little cooler and it has been rather grey. Now, one or two brighter sparks uh, as we've headed through the afternoon. There's been some sharper showers, but for the most part, they've been sinking their way southwards. And so actually into you tonight, it's a mostly dry picture. We start on a dry note tomorrow. It doesn't stay that way. We've got a cold front heading our way. So a cloudy start first thing, one or two scattered showers. And that's ahead of that weather front that we're going to be seeing, which heralds some much cooler weather on the way. Now that weather front that we've been talking about is going to be bringing behind it quite a wintry mix. This is the cold front there. It sinks its way southwards through tomorrow night and behind it, yes, you can see some white on the map. Potentially a wintry mix, some sleet, even some snow to lower ground. Not really going to accumulate but we start Thursday on a very cold note indeed. Through tonight by contrast, it's relatively mild. Overnight temperatures will only be dropping to around 4 or 5 degrees. Just to put that into context, those are the sorts of values we're going to be seeing during the day for Thursday. So relatively mild start of the day for Wednesday. Initially it will be dry but as you can see one or two scattered showers and those likely to intensify as we head through the afternoon. That cloud cover thickening and temperatures once again for the most part in single figures around nine possibly ten degrees but those northeasterly winds chilly and they're going to be picking up ahead of that weather front that we see as we start going into Wednesday night. Lots of blue on the map. It's a wet night and it's a cold night behind it on that back edge, potentially turning a little bit wintry, some sleet, even some snow uh, to lower ground. Overnight temperatures, one or two degrees, feeling like freezing and dropping below freezing in more rural spots. So frosty and bitterly cold as we start the day for Thursday. Mostly Thursday itself, it should be staying dry, even some sunshine around, but you're really gonna notice the temperatures. By the afternoon, four or five degrees, but look at the winds. Northeasterly, that means they're going to be chilly. Average wind speed around 20 miles per hour. Gusts potentially 30 to 40 miles per hour so making it feel more like freezing but if you're missing that warmer milder weather uh, good news hold on for the weekend temperatures once again recovering to double figures highs by saturday around 11 or 12 degrees but very cold wrap it warm for thursday